in any business, there's going to be severe challenges. Like, there's challenges no matter what. High growth has challenges. No growth has challenges. I've always believed you want high class challenges, challenges of growth, too much success. But if you've been in business long enough, you're going to face them both. The one barrier you just can't cross is ethics. It doesn't matter if you could win by breaking a rule. It doesn't matter if we could do better if we just did something that we shouldn't be doing. If we know we have a product defect, but we ship it anyway because we just need to. Those are just wrong, and you will pay the price in spades over time. You know, this whole issue of ethics and tech has become much more difficult with the privacy issues around who has your data and whether or not you know what they're doing with your data. Do they tell you up front, if you sign this, this is what could happen to your data? And I think that's something that has to be addressed. I know, I know there's a lot of concern about uh, can you do that and slow companies down. At the end of the day, companies have to do business the right way. And if they're going to hold your data, they should be held to a standard with penalties if they, if they do something that they shouldn't do and it's proven that it's unethical. They knew about it, it's unethical. Uh, I don't really have any tolerance for saying, well, it would have made us less money. My opinion, and this is my own opinion, there's too much emphasis on letting everybody do whatever they want to make money and there's prices to be paid, whether it's the environment, whether there's all kinds of industries now. You know, when the financial crisis happened back in 2008, we put some restrictions on because without it, the whole country had to pay back. Uh, I, I believe in free enterprise, but I believe you have to have smart rules around things to make sure people don't do the wrong thing. I don't think you can wait till it's already done. I think a key issue that everyone's gonna have to deal with is AI, all kinds of automation. Some people will say we don't like automation, it takes jobs. I'm sure when the cars came in, the blacksmiths hated it. At the end of the day, it's here. Robotic process automation replaces back-end processes and makes them automatic. You have now a, a AI can help you make decisions by say this, 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 this. And then of course, there's also robotics. I think what we have to do with our schools and our educational system is talk about how do we help people? Those rote jobs are gonna be gone. But what do we do with that data? How do we uplift what we deliver to an end user? How do we make the economy better using the tools in our hands is things we should teach our own people. That's, so it's an issue that is still emerging, but I think it's one that's important to be studied. It's important not to fear it, but to figure out what to do with it.